Alright guys, Jack here and today I'm going over how I installed my rigid lights. I just have right here on my radiator mount, that's where I have my ground. Then I have my power coming from my fuse box. I just have them, I got a uh, fuse extender. So I have my headlight fuse here and then I have my uh, off-road light fuse here. And so all this does is um, gives you a feasible link. So this is in for my headlights and uh, rigid lights. This is the out for the headlights, and then this wire here is the out for my rigid lights. And then, so they just run on the same power. And that way I could run a fuse and don't burn my car down. Then I uh, ran the power out. So my positive up to, oh wait, no. This is my positive to my relay up here. This is just a jelly bean part, hella lighting relay. Um, and a, I think it's like a fuel pump relay from an old Ford. Just what I use my, for my fuse holder. And then I have the screen wire. This is my solenoid control. And this runs my interior switch, which is just another uh, same year fog lamp switch. So this is where the security lamp go, the security system indicator light goes. So I just replace that. And then my wire is running up under the dash. I did a quick and dirty install, stuck them through my uh, fender. And I have that going out through here. And then I have my power running to the relay, coming out through the same feasible link. And then, yeah, pretty simple system. Uh, what's this cable for? Oh yeah, this is my positive to my lights. And so I just have them connected in parallel. Let's pull my grill off. So, you can see back here how I zip tied them on. It's one of this little nub. There's a, another bracket here that I broke pulling it off. And then, yeah, connected them up here, just with the butt connector. So I have my switch on, it's not doing anything. Can go up front. Lights off. And I got pretty impatient with this. It was about 3 o'clock in the morning the other night when I got this thing finished. So I don't have uh, power running to my uh, indicator light that it's on. Because if I turn on my headlights, now, see, headlights are on. Accessory lights are off. I also removed my fog lights because I broke that one. And so that one just looked funky. So I just have the connectors tied up out of the way. And so, and so I was trying to get this light to come on, but I didn't know which one it was. So now, if I turn on this switch, you see in the back of the shop, they're on. And they don't look that bright in the daytime. But at night, they're brighter than my high beams, which is good, considering they're $100 lights. Well, new. Find them in a junkyard, you get them for 35 bucks for the pair of them. But yeah, this was a steal, and I'm pretty happy with them. So in the next video, I'll be probably installing my new tires. I got some uh, Kumo Road Venture AT51s. Uh, they're a 215-75-15. So they're about 5 millimeters wider, and I bumped up my aspect ratio by 5%. So I think they're a 27-inch tire, but I'm not completely sure. I think these are 26s. Uh, it's a 205 7015. These are just some crappy centuries. They're the cheapest tire you can get. I think I for a set of four, it cost me $140. So, it cost me $140. So... Yeah, so I'm going to have a big upgrade with those Kumos all at once. So, yeah, I'll be installing those, and probably at work today I'll be showing them off before I install them, because I bought them from work. Um, I test fitted a set. They're BF Goodrich All Trains, but that's just what we had laying around in the shop. And I have a picture that I'll put here. But those tires, they didn't rub, and um, they looked pretty friggin' cool on this thing, so I'm excited. 
I'm gonna keep these wheels and I'm gonna take one of these tires and get a set of four steel wheels so I'll mount all these on a set of steels just so I have a spare set of uh, just touring tires for uh, you know long distance trips if this thing ever goes long distance. Alright, so these are the tires I'm going to be put on my Subaru. They're Kumo Road Venture AT51. Um, they're about as aggressive as a BF Goodrich it's all train side by side. Uh, I didn't know this when I ordered them, but they're D range tires. So, just for reference, your normal car has an SL standard load. And they only hold up to 44 psi and 4. 1,500 pounds, whereas these go up to 65 psi, and they hold not very tall, so. Yeah, they hold 2,095 pounds, so close to double of um, your standard car tire and they also handle 65 psi but they do fit and so if I ever decide to you know put on big huge brakes and put super stiff rear suspension in it then I've got the tires to handle tow, he to tow heavy loads uh, also, more just general overland gear. I don't need to grab my keys or unlock my door. <laughs> Got a pretty nice camp axe the other day. Or actually, the night before I filmed this. That was a little hatchet that I had. And I got a handle from Lowe's. Scraped off all the varnish. I have some footage of that that I'll include in this video. Scraped off all the varnish, and then I uh, coated it with boiled linseed oil. Then put on a nice edge. Super, super sharp. You can see here, I sliced myself open yesterday. Uh, yeah, I just filed down my edge, honed it in with the stone, and I stropped it. So, super sharp. Um, this will just be my little camp axe. Handles a little bit too long for my liking. Uh, it's I think a 27 inch handle. These are 26s. No, it's like a 30 inch handle. Which for a bigger axe, like a two pound axe, it's not bad. Or no, for like a five pound axe, it's not bad. This is only like a one and a quarter pound. So it's a little bit too long for my liking. I thought about trimming it down, but I kind of like that nub at the bottom. Uh, I'm also going to be building gear carriers for the side. So I'll have one for my axe. And then I have this little... Where did it go? A little fold-out shovel. It works well enough to get me out of some situations. Uh, I got this thing stuck in some silt. Actually, a picture of that too that I'll include here. But at any rate, use this little shovel here to dig myself out. And you know, can't really complain. I'm also going to build uh, a rack for the back to better deal with the storage of those water bottles. Because as you can see, I have them everywhere. In my jack compartment. Have them in those seat backs. Have them stuffed around my spare tire. Down there have them over here I just have water bottles everywhere so I want to build a more efficient system for that uh, maybe build my own cooler for the side with some foam uh, and then maybe get some new interior panels I haven't really shown off the interior of the sink too much it's nothing really to see but the previous owner he had a couple dogs and they tore up the interior pretty bad. So, as you can see here, there's a big scratch. So, you just grill taped over them. And you know what? It's fine for me, but my dad's always complaining about it. So, might as well do that.